everyone, my name is Annette, and you may know me as Netter's Plays. And today on Applied Mechanics, I'm going to go over the game of Pete Mutz. So this is a card game where it's all about the pecking order of the bird feeder. It's a tableau builder, and you're scoring majority. So let me show you a little bit about this game and why I really like it. In Pete Mutz, you only have three things to do on your turn. Out of the four cards in hand, you'll be able to play one of your cards. There are two perches where you can play your one card. When you play this bird onto the floor, you'll add up the total value of all the birds on the floor. If that value is greater than the value of the bird on the perch, then a few things will happen. Depending on the difference, you'll pick up one of the seed cards from the dispenser. You'll also take the card that was in front of the perch and you'll add it in front of you. The highest value bird will then go up to the perch. You check and see if you have a higher value and you do the same thing with the seeds. Then finally, you'll draw back up to a hand of four. You'll also refill the seeds. However, beware because sometimes you'll also come across the crow or the squirrel. When a player plays a card and the value is lower than the bird on the perch, then they don't take any seeds. However, they can play a card lower than the one that they just played and place that bird in front of them. Some birds that you collect will come in pairs. You'll get bonus points for those. At the end of the game, you'll be scoring majorities depending on who has the most birds of a certain type. Once you've compared, you add up the number of eggs that you have on each card, along with the eggs on the seeds and the bonus pair points. Whoever has the most points wins. So as you can see, you're doing a lot on your turn, but you're only playing one card. You're comparing the bird or the card that you just played on the ground with the card that's in front of the feeder. You're checking differences in values, and you're gaining seeds. Not only that, but you're also gaining birds or a tableau in front of you. You're checking majorities in comparison to other players, so you always have to be aware of what type of birds you're gaining. There's a lot of things to compare, and there's a lot of things that are going on in this game. And that's why I really like Pete Mutz. Well, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!